I have to say, I didn't, we didn't have a lot of focus on spelling uh, in, in my school. I was at school in the 1980s. Um, you know, it wasn't, we didn't have things like a spelling test. We didn't it have hasn't tests. hasn't done you any harm, has it? I mean, you've done very well, despite the fact you couldn't spell. Well, I think one of the things is studying a foreign language actually helped me understand English grammar in retrospect. But I remember being pulled up at university uh, by my professors on things like grammar because I hadn't got that at an early age. And I think, you know, I'm lucky I've got well-educated parents who are able to communicate some of our, those ideas to me. And how do you spell illiterate, Elizabeth Truss? Well, this isn't about trying to test people. Oh, have a go, or, go on. Come on, well, your, your I, education I don't minister, think your news right. is there coming. Are, there try, are countless, try and spell it for there me. There are countless examples of politicians who tried to get involved in spelling, and I would cite Dan Quayle as one, and got it wrong. And Why this is not go, the illiterate. point I'm making is this isn't about trying to catch people out. This is not about trying to get children to shout out spellings. This is about a written test that tests whether or not they understand the English language, how to spell and how to punctuate. So do you know how to spell literate? Well, I, as I've said, I'm not going to answer the question on that issue because this is not what our test is about.